The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Uh, if you ever got an issue that you just need maybe a third opinion on or someone who's not emotionally invested in your situation, you can always shoot us a message, shoot us a note, and we'll uh, toss it out and uh, see what see what everyone has to say. Uh, this one comes from a listener. She says, uh, do I seek out the drama with this one? All right. I like how it's starting already. <laughs> A guy literally left me his name and number in front of his girlfriend, and oh. I want to know if I should tell her or not. Oh, yikes. She's, oh, man. She continues, you see, I'm a server, and this guy comes in a lot. He's been in several times over the past few weeks with this new girl. I can tell she's his girlfriend by the way they act. Well, last weekend when they're in, I wait on them. Nothing out of the ordinary happens during dinner. I give them the check. Thank them for coming in. Grab their check while they're still talking. On the check, he not only left me a crappy tip on an $80 check, but he wrote his name and phone number with a smiley face and a call me. I couldn't believe he would hit on me in front of his date. So part of me wants to take the high road, forget it ever happened, mind my own business. But the other part. (laughs) the part that made me write you yeah but the other part wants to dive (laughs) into this drama and tell his girlfriend the next time they're in i've been hit on before at work but for some reason this really bothers me so what would you do forget it or seek the drama (laughs) (laughs) wow A lot of people already chiming in on Facebook. April's like, "Um, did you keep the check? If so, I would give it to her next time they come in. If not, just make a comment when they come back in like, please don't add your number to it this time. We prefer to keep those clean for our records. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Rebecca was like, and how exactly do you know that she wasn't in on it? Mm. Maybe they want to add in. A third? A third. Maybe they just wanted someone to join in that night. Past that, I would have returned the ticket to their table and just asked him. Interesting. I've never tried the hit on uh, a girl by writing on the check. Like, I, I, I've, never, I've never tried to hit on a server before. And because... Partly because I just have never done it, but but the other part of me is like they they get this all the time. I mean, as a server, I'm sure you get, especially bartender or server, you're in an yeah, industry my husband did where you get hit on back in college. Yeah, I'm sure, like yeah. all the time. So it's like, how are you as just some dude who's leaving your number on a receipt or a bill going to stand out from the dozen other guys that have probably done that that week? Well, you do stand out when you have a girlfriend sitting there at the table with you. That is true. That is true. If you want to chime <laughs> That's in. That's especially bold. Yeah. 502 571 Got a message from a listener who's a server. She got hit on in front of uh, the gentleman's girlfriend, uh, leaving a little note on the t- on the check that said, uh, his phone number and a call me with a smiley face. Now, she's all like, I couldn't believe he would hit on me right in front of his date. Now, do I seek out the drama and present it to the girlfriend the next time they're in? Or do I just, you know, do the, do the you know, non-drama thing? Just forget it ever happened. I've been hit on before. Maggie on Facebook said if he's that bold and doing that in front of her, she more than likely already knows. I would forget it and move on. Yeah, I feel like uh, guys like that will reveal themselves multiple times. So if it's not you, it's going to be someone else that 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 shows that uh, he is kind of that way. Um, There, Lisa also said, I would call him and ask for the rest of your tip. Hashtag cheapskate. (laughs) Yeah, that's a that's a point of the story that I wasn't expecting a lot of people to to dive into. The fact that it's taken center stage with a lot of people. Yeah. The fact that he's not left a very good tip on an $80 check and then was bold enough to ask for her number 
on that check? <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe he's with simple math and he's like, well, I only know what 10% of 80 is because I can deal in tens. Um, so here you go. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were just like, hey, um, yeah, he, you don't want to date a bad tipper anyways. So forget. Exactly. That's what Priscilla said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A- Anthony's all like, hey, you know what? Um, th- she should say to him, sorry, I didn't get to call you with the number you gave me last week, but I've been busy. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm telling you, like eight out of 10 replies have been to dive in on the drama. Um, there are only a few that are saying, you know, look, just stay out of it. Um, you, yeah. You know, she's going to find out soon enough. She's going to know. It's it, And just just leave it where it is because he's going to show um, himself his true cards in front of her. Uh, I like the comment from Emily. Seek out the drama. The entertainment will be the real tip. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you didn't get a good tip on your tip. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you didn't yeah. get a good tip on your uh, on on their bill. Oh but uh, the real tip is going to be the drama and the fireworks that happen once you present the fact that uh, oh hey by the way your boyfriend's hitting on me. I don't know. Oh wow. So that's a lot. I I just I don't know. A lot of people are just like yeah, tell him or tell her. But I feel like just leave it alone. All right. So Kelly. Leave it alone. If he persists, Mm -hmm. then maybe we think about getting a little bit more bold about that. Now, now Kelly's coming from a a, a point of where she doesn't like drama or confrontation ever. I don't don't like it. So so she will automatically kind of uh, go to that 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 stance of, ah, you know what? Just if, if it I know it bothers you, but just chalk it up to guy being a jerk and just let it roll off your back well and you don't know how she is going to react i mean she might like start attacking you like i i know for me long time ago my new boyfriend his ex-girlfriend got my number and Mm -hmm. left me incessant messages Mm. started like coming to my apartment i mean you just don't know so i feel like you could be opening a pandora's box of retaliation you know what you you said that, and we just got a message from Blair who said, uh, yeah, uh, same thing happened to me. I actually confronted the girl. Uh, they tried to get me fired saying that <gasps> I was hitting on oh, the boyfriend. Like two people against mm. one. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe we Man. just leave this one Man. alone Man. now. <laughs> but I want the drama. I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I mean, this is real life. Like uh, this is a TV show. I want the drama, but this is like real life. And okay, there is a couple right. of scenarios just laid out to where I think, nope, nobody, nope, nope. All right. Well, uh, if you want to go back and, and leave your comment on Facebook, you can at Ben and Kelly show, um, or you can listen back to the original uh, at WDJX.com. Click Ooh. listen. One more thought just hit me. Like the next time they come in, maybe she starts up a little conversation. Oh my gosh, did you hear on the radio the other day that this guy totally like left his number for a server in front of his girlfriend? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you hear? Do you listen? Did oh you listen my to God. that show? That was so crazy. That was so crazy. Kind of like what you did with me the other day, the other week. <laughs> crazy, right? Crazy. See, she didn't even have to say that part though. Just kind of be like, huh. Interesting. And then gauge the reaction. Yeah. All right. At Ben and Kelly Show, if you want to see it on Facebook.